Greetings, HDEF friends. Give me one second to get everything streamed. Thank you for tuning in. Greetings, unsettled souls! <laughs> Sam I B. Deganji here with you. Curator, founder of The Correct Views and uh, Unsettled Souls. There's a lot to be unsettled about. Talk about a few things. We're going to get to all the Fukushima stuff, but some things have come up which need to be addressed because they affect the future of this show. And uh, we need to have a serious conversation about the future of this show. Uh, let me give you a brief history of what it is and who we are, and we being now me. Uh, originally, uh, Christelle and I began this show, and we grew it from nothing, literally nothing. And to this day, obviously, it's still done in the house. The studio upstairs got taken down, and uh, some of it, it's a long story, but I don't know if and when it'll be back. It's the least of my concerns right now. Um, YouTube began to have a huge following. I did the documentary with uh, the Media Speaks. Hello, Media Speaks. Um, before that, Christelle and I did the Bilderberg documentary called Why It Mattered to Me. That's up there, along with the um, the Media Speaks um, In Search of Paul Revere. I did a lot of the music for that, too. Well, we all know what YouTube did to the growing following. They have it so that very few people are seeing this. Very few at all. Um, Facebook, I was able to get around the shadow banning on that on Facebook due to shares. <sighs> Facebook had already done me wrong once before. I was a full-time writer at Argus Media. You guys remember that. The conservative Daily Post, Teddy Stick. Well, they, she, of course, uh, shadow banned that. After selling ads, this is what was illegal, by the way. Um, Facebook sold ads to the company that employed me and then didn't keep their end of the deal when it came time to put the outlet onto people's feed. And we went from 20 people, now the company has two. I was making upwards, what, $25,000, $30,000. Job gone overnight. Never once to, again, no, no, no violence here. We'll get to that in a minute. No violence here, no threatening here, none of that here. It was, it was, you know, they uh, used their algorithms to the cost me, on me and countless others. 800 websites went down. If 25 or 30 people were employed just at the one that employed me, how many people were lost their job in the 800 websites that were taken down? Now, what you have to remember is that that was done uh, two, two uh, what, six weeks before an election two years ago two years ago last October. The reason I'm telling you all of this, don't, don't zone out because this is important if you like the show. <sighs> Facebook has taken the page down that I have been building for years. Almost all of the work that I have done outside of YouTube for the last three and a half-ish years since Christelle has not been part of the show, has been on Facebook. And almost all of it's gone. The other thing is this show exists by donations. Again, I, I sell the stories, you know, I, you've seen me in Blasting News. I already mentioned Argus Media. Um, my last story was sold to Neopa Radio. If I have no followers, then the future of this show becomes a problem. Now, you guys watching this, here's what I'm going to do, because you guys can help me save the show just by watching and sharing, for one. You can donate if you want at the correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal, but that's not going to get me out of this problem, so throwing money at this isn't going to be the solution here. I was, sh many of you know, I was shoved into the Capitol building while trying to film the uh, break-in of the door, and then everybody seethed forward, and I was covered with pepper spray, 
and I had not, I was not going to be able to go the other way. So I filmed everything. The reason there's only a few videos up, I made an inappropriate joke in one of them. Many of you regular listeners know about <laughs> your Buddy Puff. I was doing a Buddy Puff reference, and I decided that that was inappropriate. So I don't have that video up. But the uh, because so many people were watching that didn't know the show that the humor was going to be lost, and I realized quickly that it was a much more grave situation than I had thought when I was first filming. I thought I was just filming vandalism, and the next thing I'm pushed into a building. Um, Facebook has completely taken the page away. So instead of recounting what I went through in D.C., I want you, the unsettled souls, you's watching, you guys are watching, you, all of you's watching, I want you to peacefully, respectfully, nicely, kindly demand that Facebook restore Samuel DeGangi's page, the correct views, D-I-G-A-N-G-I. I'm not going to go over the three or four hours, I don't know what it was, that I streamed. I don't know, but all the videos together, somewhere between ten and 20,000 people saw them before Facebook decided you weren't allowed to even watch what was happening. So I'm not going to go over it. If I go over it again, it doesn't make you, it doesn't make you get up and say no. I've watched Sam forever. He's never called for violence. He's never heard it. What do you take his page down for? And the last thing I'm going to say about this. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to go over it. I'm going to make you guys demand to see it. Because the footage is out there. I don't even have it. The footage is on Facebook and they took it down. Memory hold gone. You ain't allowed to see it. Now, those of you who did see it, and I'm speaking to a very small number of those who saw it. Some people who saw it saw, they didn't see how I got shoved in. And they saw me in the Capitol building and they called the authorities and the authorities paid me a visit. I get it. You thought I broke in, whatever, whatever, whatever. Other people may not have known that I was a journalist. Even though it's on my page. Or even though, like I said, I, I came home and gave the story to Neopa Radio. You can look them up online. Canton's local station. Those people called. I, I get it. It's perfectly good. However, I've seen because I do have a backup account. I've seen people on comment lines bragging about how they were going to call and report this horrible person. If you did that, I just have one thing to say. Shame on you. You should be ashamed. Not, not, because, not because you slandered me. But, you know, there are dangerous people out there. And I filmed God only knows how many people. They were just walking around, probably thousands, tens of thousands, I don't know, just walking. Now, if some of those people could be a threat, if you guys called up and said something ridiculous just because you don't like my politics, why would you risk innocent lives by tying up the FBI for however many man hours it takes for, before they realize I'm an idiot with a camera? You don't put innocent lives like that at risk. Shame on you if you did that. Um, uh, good news. A little bit of good news I'm going to give you here. A little bit of good news. Um, Creeper and I have replaced the, uh, moving on, We're moving on, I've said all I have to say about it. Um, Creeper and I have filmed a, uh, the Moonville Tunnel adventure. We took a three and a half hour drive, one direction, to the Moonville Tunnel. If you don't know what it is, look it up. There's supposed to be ghosts there, the ghosts of a, a bald boy and a, um, <clears throat> the ghost of a lavender lady and somebody who fell off the train an engineer that died. Did we see ghosts? Did we almost get hypothermia because the internet didn't say what it was about? We're gonna, I'm probably gonna release that in the next couple of weeks. I have to edit it. We filmed it on two different phones. Um, I, I will definitely get it up there, I, I promise. Oh my God, he also broke into a place. It's a 24 hour place. But anyway, yes, so that th that is your update, friends. Um, the future of the show is in you guys' hands. Because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do a show to talk to absolutely no one. That's not gonna that's conducive to nothing. So you guys let me know. Let me know by your shares. Let me know by contacting me at the correct views at hotmail.com, telling me you're watching. Yes, I know about Parlor and Gab, but nobody there knows about me. I'm just I'm not a huge host. I just, I do my thing. Some things go huge, some things don't. I have a day job. 
I work for myself. So if I get donations and I cover an event, I can do it. But where am I going to post it at? I can't ask you guys to pay for me to post something and no one's going to see it. Do you guys want to see it? Then I'll know you did because you shared. Because you called Facebook and you said, I want to see DeGangie's footage. It's in your hands, guys. It's in your hands. All right. Massive Fukushima update as promised. No more of the other talk. No more Moonville. Fukushimaville. The uh, Ashahi sh take two. The Ashahi Shimbun. Our radiation levels at the Fukushima plant far worse than was thought. I can't say the paper, paper name, but I can roll my R's. Um, this actually, all jokes aside, is not good. Um, how many people, on this very comment line, no less, how many people do we see showing up to tell us that radiation levels are not in any way at dangerous levels? And they give us the facts from all of these supposed geniuses. Well, guess what? I can't wait to see the comment line this month because now those geniuses are agreeing with me. What I've been telling you forever. They've recanted what they were saying. And now I can't wait to see what a lot of the people who have said that they were relying on these sources. How I can't wait to see how my comment line is spun where now people are going to say, well, well yeah, now the experts are wrong, and I'm still wrong. I can't wait to hear how this is spun. This will be beautiful. Exceedingly high radiation levels found inside crippled reactor buildings at the Fukushima number 1 nuclear plant were labeled by nuclear regula regulators as an extremely serious, quote, challenge to the shutdown process and overall decommissioning of the site. Uh, they also write that the NRA, Nuclear Regulation Authority, of course, said a huge, that would not be small, I'm looking at you, Craig, a huge amount of radioactive materials apparently had attached to shield plugs of a containment vessel of the number two and number three reactors. Now, how many other things like this, which you never thought to look at, how many of them have already happened and have just been juicing up the air for who knows how long? you know this was possible? Did you think about this? Because I didn't. Radiation levels, it goes on, were estimated at 10 sieverts per hour. That is a lethal dose for anyone who spends even an hour in the vicinity, according to experts. But the experts say that there's nothing to worry about. Hey, Rocky, it looks like I might be wrong. The finding would make it exceptionally difficult for workers to move the shield plugs Raising the prospect uh, that the plan to decommission the reactors uh, will have to be re reassessed. The Toyoshi Fukita, chairman of the NRA, it goes on, noted that removing the highly radio, the highly contaminated shield plugs added to the enormous difficulty of retrieving a nuclear fuel debris, the most daunting part of the decommissioning process. He says. It appears that nuclear power and a nuclear pardon me. It appears that nuclear debris lies in an elevated place. And it was said at a news conference earlier this month. Well, that's a great way of that. That pins it down. Uh, this will have a huge impact on the whole process of the decommissioning work. Yes, yeah, stopping the decommissioning work tends to have a big. Uh, a big impact on the decommissioning work. These are the geniuses that we have cleaning this up. Yes, yeah, stopping something greatly impedes its. It's forward progress, yes. The Browns learned that against the Chiefs. Um, <laughs> the study was undertaken following investigations by Tokyo Electric Power, that is TEPCO, that is General Electric, that is where you never invest, that is where you never have mutual funds, and other authorities which had shown extraordinarily, extraordinarily high levels of radiation there. The estimated figure was 30 Peta becquerels for the number three reactor. As larger amounts of cesium-137 leaked from the number one reactor through the damaged plug, the amount of the radioactive material attached to its shield plug was estimated at 0.16 peta becquerels, considerably lower than the number two and number three reactors. If there's any good news, I guess. Uh, EcoWatch. Lethal levels, that would be lethal, that day, also known as deadly. Lethal levels of radiation found in damaged Fukushima reactor impacting its shutdown. 
I'm looking to see if there's any, I gave you two sources here, I'm looking to see if there's anything different in this particular one. As Common Dreams reported in October, Greenpeace and other environmental and anti-nuclear advocates expressed shock and outrage after the J J Japanese government announced plans to release the stored water into the ocean. Now that's going to be important uh, in a moment because, uh, well, I'll, I'll let you guess as to why that might be. Um, the Japan Times has something interesting. Fukushima nuclear debris removal to be delayed due to pandemic. Now, I love the way things are looked at. And I, incorrectly so, so that I can point them out that give you the correct views, so to speak. COVID-19 is very, very serious. Particularly for those who are aged, those who have pre-existing medical conditions of a certain nature, those who have lung issues, and those who catch a particularly bad strain of the virus, of which uh, Brazilian, African, and uh, United Kingdom come to mind. The Brazilian strain is a particular fear to Dr. Fauci. But I've only, I wish Christelle was here. I need lightning, like thunder effects every time I say Dr. Fauci. However, radiation, uh, uh, levels we're talking about, that's in this debris, are particularly harmful to the aged and those with respiratory issues and the young and the old, the black, the white, the Asian, the wildlife, the vegetation, the food. That we these well, emitting radiation here. I, I don't know what the levels are at this point due to uh, how many elements have depreciated, but we know how long plutonium and uranium and cesium and a lot of these elements last. Uranium and plutonium are particularly frightening. Um, millions, billions of years. These elements were so deadly that the people who cleaned up Chernobyl could only get around, and again, it blew, it, it blew up as well, it could only get around the debris for seconds, less than a minute, 45 seconds, and many of them died of cancer and other horrible ailments. Uh, their kids had birth defects from coming around the debris. So because of COVID-19, everything could get a dunce cap. I swear to God, everything could get a dunce cap on this one. The operator of the Fukushima number one nuclear power plant, which suffered core meltdowns in 2011, has decided to delay the removal of nuclear debris by about one year. From 2021, due to the coronavirus pandemic, sources said Wednesday. Well, the good thing is, since they managed to blow up the most dangerous elements on the face of the earth, the good thing is that at least it will still be just as radioactive in a year from now as it is. So they won't miss anything. That, that's on their side. Their poisoning levels should be uh, intact. The process of removing the melted fuel, the most difficult part of the cleaning up facility, was to begin at the number two reactor in 2021. But the virus spread has stalled tests in the UK of robot arm that has to be used for the removal, the sources said. Now, let, let's really look at that paragraph because they sort of just blah, blah, put it out there without dissecting it any. We don't really have the technology to allow even machinery to get close to the debris without severely shutting down, uh, sometimes not even able to get the machine back. If they were still testing the new robot arm, then that means they don't yet know if they've got around this humongous problem of the radiation being so deadly that it, it, it juices the components of the machinery. So they don't really know if it works. And, they're, and I'm sure COVID, I'm not, I'm not saying that they, they created COVID to do this or any great conspiracy. I'm saying they're not letting the, 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 the nightmare go to waste. 
they're like, all right, well, we blame COVID. We can't test this because of COVID. Then there's a very good chance that they're delighted with COVID right now because they have not proven that this robotic arm is going to be any more successful than the other piles of junk we now have that are juiced beyond anybody's ability to ever come near them again. Of the number one to three reactors that experienced meltdowns following a massive earthquake and a tsunami, the t t t tsunami, yeah, tsunami, the removal procedure was to start at the number two unit because the operator, TEPCO, had the best grasp of the internal condition, they said. I hope that's not true, considering the Three Stooges episode we've seen from them since Ot 11. Uh, TEPCO had uh, planned uh, to insert a robot arm into the unit's containment vessel, from which it would initially extract around one gram of the debris at a time. Yeah, we're going to be here a while. And then gradually expanding the amount of it works towards the several kilograms a day. So we're going to, you know, use a claw machine to clean the beach. The company was originally scheduled to verify in August the viability of the robot arm in the United Kingdom and transfer the equipment, it says, to Japan in February of 2021 so that workers could start training with it. However, because of COVID, there's delays as precautionary measures were taken to limit the number of workers. So it's okay if you get juiced at this reactor, which is anything but even remotely safe enough to be around to clean up. But God forbid you get COVID-19. I'm pretty sure I gave the dumb D of the day to the wrong one, but I can't undo it now. We've already got it chosen. Here it is. You are an idiot. All right, guys, if you want to donate, you can do so at the correct views at hotmail.com. Uh, uh, you definitely won't be an idiot. I would appreciate it. The correct views at hotmail.com through PayPal. Again, it, it's not going to fix the earlier problem, but it does fund the time it takes me to do things like this. Give you the dumb deal of the day. I'm giving it the dumb deal of the day because this idea has already gone again and again and again and again and again down the the crapper of history as the worst idea ever. Undercurrent news. I don't think I've ever been on the show before. Welcome aboard Undercurrent News. Ding, ding, ding. Korea tells Japan not to release Fukushima water. They're still, still trying to justify releasing this water into the ocean, saying it's at safe levels, even though we know it's anything but even though we know that you cannot catch a tuna out of the Pacific Ocean that does not have traces of Fukushima radiation in it, and we can tell it due to the half-life breakdown of the nuclear elements that are being tested. The mayors, thank God, and governors of all 17 major cities and provinces in South Korea adopted a joint statement warning against Japan releasing contaminated water into the ocean from the crippled Fukushima nuclear power plant, reports Korea Jong Ang Daily. Now, you, can, you have to realize here, there's, there's even more problems for the South Koreans. And the dumb deal of the day is going to, to uh, TEPCO and other groups trying to release the water uh, into the ocean. The, they already have a lunatic to their north. Okay, they already have a nutcase. Uh, Kim Jong-un has poisoned things to such an extent that probably only the upper echelon of South Korea and uh, America probably are fully aware of how bad this is. Maybe Russia. Uh, and China's probably pretty, pretty on it, but they're not going to admit it. They already have enough nuclear problems without Japan poisoning their water. God only knows what Kim Jong-un intelligent is going to do now that we're changing uh, leaders in the U.S. So, uh, thankfully, South Korea is standing up against the idea, friends. That is the show. That is the correct views. Thank you for listening. Somebody, if you've been with me for a while, thank you so much. Good night, friends. God bless. And remember this above all else. Remaining, uh, remaining solid as a group of us, sharing videos uh, gets you around a lot of algorithms. And if you have to, 
just tell other people what I've told you. I've showed you where the sources are, so you can look it up. You don't have to say Sam said it. But I've explained it to you in a way that makes sense and that you can use above and beyond the sources that I've given you. Good night, friends. God bless. Good night, H. Duffers.